Hey guys, I'm standing here in a food plot. So I came in here last year uh, towards the, the end of, of winter and I frost seeded clover in here. And uh, I, did, I wasn't real great about keeping it cut this summer and there was some grass in it. So I decided to do a new experiment. So basically what I did, I came in light with glyphosate, sprayed the whole thing down. That did a pretty good job killing everything out of here. Uh, just set back the clover though, didn't kill it. So then what I did, I came in with the no-till and in half of it, I planted brassicas into it. So it's actually a daikin radish. Uh, so what we're looking at right here, this is the area that I didn't plant anything in. And then over here, you can see where the radishes are. So uh, it's really, really interesting because over here where just the clover was, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't no-till any brassicas into it. The clover is actually considerably shorter. I don't know if you could hear that or not. We just chased out a deer. Must have been sitting right there waiting to come out here and eat once the sun goes down a little bit. But uh, yeah, so over here we got the brassicas. Uh, they, they didn't grow huge bulbs on them, but the, the leaves came up pretty well. Uh, from my experience, the, the deer will, late in the winter, they'll pick out those bulbs and eat them. But most of the time they end up wasting probably three quarters or, or even more. So I'm not too worried about that. The, uh, the green up on top, did pretty well and uh, like I said it's really interesting I'll get down here and show you the clover actually did better too in the area that the daikin's daikin seeds were uh, no-tailed into it now maybe that's just a better half uh, I, I doubt it and just the the way that it it kind of is over here it's really good then you move back over here and this whole area the the clover is considerably shorter so I'm gonna go have a look we'll give you a look here so this is the area that I didn't no-till any uh, of the brassicas into it. Now there, there are a few just because when I had a few left over when I was no-tilling, I came in here and just broadcast them on top. You can see they, they didn't germinate very well over here, but uh, I just wanted to take a look here at the clover and show you the difference. So. so it's not even up to my wristwatch. So, so this is the area where the brassicas were no-tilled in. So you can see that it comes well over my wristwatch here. And uh, like I said, the brassicas here, let me see if I can grab one of these and pull it out. We'll have a look at it. So I put these in. It was pretty late when I no-tilled these in. Uh, it was more or less just uh, I wanted to come in here and try something out. But if you look, like I said, the, the radish isn't very big on the end. And I'll go over to another area where I didn't try this experiment. I just no-tilled the brassicas right into dead clover I sprayed it considerably heavier over there and I'll show you the difference in those but for the plant itself it's not huge not amazing but if you look at this whole entire field here this is really thick clover with brassicas in it so I'm expecting and, and this is what I've been finding with my camera I have over here the deer been in here hitting this clover uh, I, I do have corn back over there this is the Egyptian wheat in between uh, but they've actually been favoring this clover still. So uh, I'm expecting though, once it once it, we get a cold spell, the clover goes dormant, they'll hit these brassicas. And then once those are all gone, they'll move to the corn. Uh, but I think this has been a pretty good experiment. I'm, I'm definitely gonna try it again next year. I think that this could be a way that I could provide food from September all the way through into probably hopefully mid-November, just out of this field alone. So that's not even factoring in the corn that I have planted over there. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, it's surprising the clover did better and we have brassicas mixed in there. So we should be, I should be expecting more food production and longer food production throughout the, the rest of the fall here. Captain Bly's telling lies, cold October day. Drinking beer, trying not to hear the words he has to say. Come on, boys, come on, boys, watch the salmon run. It's heading for the trout hole in Mount.